person. I didn't have all that much to rant about every single week. And if I didn't have anything, it didn't feel genuine to just make something up for the sake of doing a video. So the new series is Retinger's Riffs, where I just talk about something that's going on in my head that's to do with technology every single week. And up this week is the thing that's living on my wrist, the Pebble smartwatch. Let's go ahead and get riffing. <laughs> So I didn't do a review on the Pebble smartwatch. I just picked it up probably about three weeks ago. I wanted to see what all the fuss was about. People were really interested about it. Uh, There's a huge Kickstarter campaign. I'd really been sort of the go-to for smartwatches. So I bought one, not a review unit, or picked one up on my own. I've got a lot of opinions on it. If you're the kind of person like me that incessantly has to check your phone for emails, notifications, uh, it can be quite rude to constantly be, you know, going in your pocket, pulling out your phone, looking at it, making sure it's what you need or don't need and putting it back in your pocket on the table. I've got a wife, i got a baby at home and she always sort of gives me that sideways glance that only, only women can do and they're like, you know you did something wrong. Always got that. Now I get a notification on my wrist, I can look at it and say, okay, I know I have to respond or I don't have to respond uh, right away. I never have to take that phone out of my pocket. So I can sort of steal a glance at my wrist. Aside from notifications, it's really, that's about it. There's nothing really new that the watch does the phone's not gonna do. But the Pebble does it very, very well. So a few things I like about it, let's start with that. First is the weight. I was really surprised at how lightweight the Pebble actually feels. You look at it, it's a relatively big watch, uh, but it weighs absolutely nothing. Don't even notice it uh, at all on your wrist. So that was quite nice. The buttons are really well placed, easy to find, whether you're in, in a dark, like movies, for example, and you just want to see what's buzzing on your wrist. Uh, really, really easy to find. Now, they redid these on the Pebble Steel coming out. I figured, again, with the Pebble Steel coming out, it's probably a good time to talk about this guy before it became antiquated. And I like that you can change his faces. I like that it's totally open source, and you can download a ton of different watch faces and kind of apps. And with the new Pebble software coming out, there's going to be an app store that's going to work with this. I also like that um, Pebble is keeping essentially the hardware the same, at least the internals uh, of the Pebble and the Pebble Steel. So it's sort of not to piss off the early adopters. Everything the Steel can do, uh, this guy's going to do as well, save for being a little bit thinner. Uh, not having Gorilla Glass uh, on the outside. Battery life, we've had sort of mixed results. Uh, Ashley's got one, he said she can easily get through a week. Ralph's got one, usually about five days. Uh, I tend to get, maybe I get more notifications than most, but I tend to get about three and a half, maybe four days on a full charge, and I turn it off uh, at night. Uh, so I have had a few issues with it, uh, Bluetooth-wise. First, if you want data to show up on here, I've got weather on mine, seeing how beautiful it is in Southern California, 77 degrees. You gotta download a third-party app, it's called HTT Pebble, and that creates another uh, Bluetooth connection from your phone. So I've paired it now to an iPhone 5S. Sometimes the connection doesn't work, sometimes it drops out, even if I'm standing right next to it. That can be a bit annoying. But on the plus side, the Bluetooth range is crazy far. At least in our office, I can be three offices down and still have a nice clear Bluetooth signal, slight notifications right on the wrist. So, yeah, I kinda like it. I also like they use the standard watch band, so if you want to get a new watch band, you can do that. I like the idea of the charger. So it's magnetic, so it just sort of charges right on there, plugs in via USB, and you can charge. Uh, the downside, though, is that this thing comes off super, super easily. Um, so you have a hard time you know, making sure it's always staying on. There's no external way of seeing if it's charging. Now, they fix that in the Pebble Steel. The only way to see if this is charging is actually dig into the menu and see the little icon. From a software standpoint, I wish that I could go back and see my previous notifications. Once I click out of it and I'm back on the home screen, those notifications are gone gone forever. Oftentimes, you take a while for the text on email to actually show up. You get maybe a line and you see the loading uh, below it. But usually that's enough to know who it's from and see if I have to pull out my phone uh, to actually worry about responding to it. Uh, I like that it's kind of waterproof-ish, up to five ATM, so you know, I wouldn't take it in the shower you know, with you necessarily, but if you're washing your hands, you don't really have to worry. That's probably why I use that metal connector, or use a magnetic connector, rather, uh, instead of actually having a micro USB cord, because, you know, stuff can get into that. I've actually really enjoyed uh, the Pebble and other smartwatches, but your use may vary. If that's something you're gonna find useful, then you know, maybe look elsewhere. Uh, if you're on the fence with it, you might wanna wait until the Pebble Steel comes out and the new OS comes out, which will work with both smartwatches. Uh, and you can see what the apps are gonna be. It's supposed to be totally open source and have a whole Pebble store. So kind of cool things coming, but I don't have to share my opinion. It's kind of a mini review, just general thoughts uh, on the Pebble smartwatch. What do you guys think? Have you tried one? Have you not tried one? Uh, you can get them at a nice discount right now if you know where to look. I think Amazon sometimes has them discounted. Best Buy had it. I see where I got mine. They had a nice uh, deal right before the holidays on these. So and you can get them for a pretty cheap price before the Pebble Steel comes out at a pretty decent, I think about 230 bucks uh, for that guy. Pick this one up if you're lucky for about half of that cost. And uh, I really like it. I'm excited for this deal, but it's gonna be hard to get this guy off my wrist. We'll take a minute for just one second to thank our friends and sponsors at Netflix. You know them, you love them. Season two of House of Cards is coming up and you should definitely be watching it. Netflix has some of the best original programming available. Orange is the New Black, the final season of Arrested Development, all that kind of stuff is available in your area. Netflix is the place to go, not to mention TV shows and movies that go out on network and giant screens. You can watch them, you can stream it via really any gaming console 
you've got Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS3, PS4, Nintendo Wii, Nintendo Wii U, your phone, your tablet, whatever, try Netflix, get a free 30-day trial, go to netflix.com slash buffalo and give it a whirl. Again, that's netflix.com slash buffalo. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the first episode of Rettinger's Riffs. Let me know what you thought. Leave it in the comments right down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. What's up everyone, John here. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, I certainly hope you did. Click on the subscribe button right under me in my pants region to get tons more tech videos from Techno Buffalo. We've got awesome unboxings, comparisons, reviews, recaps, and everything else you can think of in the tech world right here on the channel. Join the herd today. If you wanna check out some more content, just click right over this way to see some other recent videos. See you guys next time.